Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So this is my newest design for bed leveling indicator uh, on the Creality CR10. So um, what happened if you were wrote in and shared with me these interesting sort of automotive uh, depth calibers you can get off of eBay super cheap. So I'll have links to this below and also the batteries for them. They use the SR44 batteries. And I created a model for this, and I shared a little bit of this in a prior episode. But here we have one that I've adapted to the Creality, like I did for the dial indicator. So here's the dial indicator version. And uh, this is the uh, uh, depth indicator version. Now this gauge costs anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks, depending upon where you buy it. And this guy cost me $3.99. So this is kind of crazy cheap. So I think there's a lot of opportunities as I covered out in the prior video for this. Uh, but in this case, I've adapted it to the CR10. And kind of want to run through a little bit of how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and, or how I would use it. And I think there's probably a couple different ways. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to auto home this. And then so this is going to do its auto home routine. And one of the things you want to make sure that that's pulled up first. Um, so it's going to, it's doing the Z axis now, so it'll touch off the Z. And then it's now touched off the Z, so we're good. So I'm going to go back to prepare on my screen and I'm going to disable steppers so I can pull the bed in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to get it right about the point, see where the screw is. Uh, you know, because that's obviously where the adjustment point is. So what I usually do is on this corner, I will do a paper test and so I'm a little bit loose here on my paper test so I'm gonna tighten this up until it's just I get it so it just scrapes on this paper so I'm using uh, some uh, 80 pound cardstock now I go a little bit heavier and hopefully my arms not in there it's where it presses down once it scrapes I am usually pretty good so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this down and then I'm gonna zero it and I want to get a good zero. Now you might float a little bit, you know, point, you know, zero to point zero one. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this over here to this point, and I'm going to measure it. Now this is pretty good. I've leveled this bed already, but we can already see over here we're we're you know within basically a thousands or almost zero zero on the bed. So you want to push it down, make sure it's good, and then let it kind of set back in because you know we're going to push it and you know it's actually pushed the bed down a little bit um so you know i'm about you know within about you know ten thousands there so now i'm going to pull this back and i'm going to go to the back side and i'm going to check this and again i'm pretty close so i can adjust it up a little bit and then what i'm going to do is move it over um here and then it's bumping on the clip back there a little bit so I'm going to pull it over here and you see I'm about three, three thousandths off. Uh, so again, pretty close. I can adjust this up a little bit. The other thing I like to do is go back, after I do the four corners, go back and do the middle. And adjust each one of the corners by a quarter to kind of get this. Because most of the printing takes place in the middle of the bed. It doesn't take place at these far corners. And so if there's any um, abnormalities in the bed, you kind of can pick it up this way. Now, since this isn't spring-loaded, uh, it basically works best only for points where this guy, you know, as you ran it across the bed, you could see the movements in, in the height. So, a little bit different. I may do up a spring loaded version of this in the future, but really for quick and dirty bed leveling, I think this is really a cool little build. So, anyways, hopefully you guys found this interesting. I'll have this, uh, the links will be in the descriptions below to this on Bingiverse, as well as where to get this gauge, the batteries, and everything, so you can build your own. Also, if you come up with other ideas for using this, let me know, because I've also created a buck version of this uh, piece here to hold it, um, and it's out on Thingiverse 2, and I'll have the links below. There's also two 3mm holes on the side, so uh, if you felt inclined to, you could use an uh, M3 bolt to kind of go in there and cinch up against this, but I tell you, this is, this is in there. It's not coming out unless you pop it out. So, anyways, uh, again, thanks to the viewer that shared this with me. I think this is a neat little idea. I think this is a handy tool. I'm going to use it in other projects, for example, like on my CNC to set the depth. Um, there's also a data port here, as I mentioned in my other video. So maybe in the wintertime, I'll mess with that a little bit. Uh, 
But anyways, hey, don't forget to wake chop up there. Give her a big thumbs up, subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you're thinking down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.